Hey, welcome to the Media Composer Cutting Edge Video Series. We've got a lot to talk about today. In the past couple of years, there's probably been no greater buzz made in the acquisition space than that of the RED1 camera. RED designed this camera to bring file-based cinema quality image acquisition down to a much more affordable price point. With any new technology, obviously there's going to be a lot of confusion and misinformation. To help sort through all of that, we're going to talk about a couple of methods and applications that you can use to work with Media Composer and RED. Now the RED camera records to a raw image file format called R3D. Now you don't necessarily want to edit with these files as they can take up a lot of storage space and be very taxing in terms of real-time performance. Avid DS does read R3D natively, so you can always use that system and your camera originals if you want to do a high-res finish. For most uses though, we don't need more than HD resolution. And that makes Avid DNX HD a great choice of format as it offers great quality but low bandwidth. Now in its second generation, Avid Metafuse is a free application that gives you the power to screen your RED media and then transcode it directly into DNX HD files native to Media Composer. While Metafuse is a Windows-based application, it can be run on both Mac and Linux workstations using Windows emulators. During this process, you can also edit your source metadata If your plan is to do an HD offline in Media Composer, you can choose DNX36 for its relatively high image quality and tremendous savings in disk space. If you're going to do an HD finish in Media Composer, select a mastering quality codec such as DNX175. Transcode operations in Metafuse are designed to take advantage of as many processors that are available, whether it's on a single workstation or on a render farm. Regardless of the method you choose for converting your R3D media to DNX HD, the ingest process starts with importing the ALE file. This will populate your bins with all the clip and metadata information needed to build your project. If your project will be finished in HD, there's nothing more left to do specific to the RED workflow. But if you do plan to do a high-res 2K or 4K finish, you have two choices for how you want to deliver your offline edit. By exporting an AFE from Avid Media Composer, you can conform your project in Avid DS and retain all your cuts, layers, and effects just as they were in Media Composer. DS can reconnect your sequence right back to the original R3D files and make any color changes you wish to make to the individual clips before you do your DPX or RGB output. If your workflow requires you to use another system for your high-res conform, Media Composer can output industry standard EDLs for translating your offline sequence. As you just saw, not only does Avid Media Composer offer a very robust workflow for working with RED, you have multiple options available to you depending on the needs of your project. This is a very dynamic technology and things are constantly changing for the better, so please keep an eye on the RED page of the Avid website for the latest information. As always, we encourage you to try all of this out for yourself by downloading a fully functioning trial version of Avid Media Composer, as well as your own copy of Avid Metafuse, both right from the Avid website. Or for more direct help, you can talk to your local Avid reseller. That's all for now. Please stay tuned for more cutting-edge videos for Avid Media Composer.